Hello and today we're bringing you a rather crazy video report because I doubt I will ever see again at the same time all the existing versions of one of my all-time favorite watch. This is the Grebel Forcé GMT and we had already talked about it, it's not a novelty per se, but the five versions seen here of this uh, incredible and extraordinary timepiece is for sure a pretty nice uh, exclusive for us and I must admit a privileged moment for me and hopefully for you too. So this watch was first introduced in 2011, but I think it still remains at the very top of uh, exceptional timepieces. It has something really special to it. So let's quickly describe these five different versions, and then uh, we'll come back on some of the mechanical dimension found in this timepiece. The first model introduced in 2011 came in this white gold execution with its anthracite dial. Quite sober despite the craziness of the timepiece, very elegant, I just love it. Then you would find the platinum version with a black dial and followed by the 5N rose, uh, red gold sorry, version again with an anthracite uh, dial. All these watches are pretty heavy I must say, there's quite some substance there. But then you have this uh, black titanium case, so naturally uh, a bit uh, lighter. But Grebel Forcé also blackened the base plate and the bridges in addition to the, the black dial of course. This gives it a sportier feel to it and coming quickly back on the, on the coating, this is AD that has been deposited on it and this acronym stands for amorphous diamond-like carbon. This coating will actually improve the protection of the watch in case of a slight shock for instance and it is much harder than the titanium in which the case is made out of. So despite being sportier, lighter and so forth, I doubt that I would go rock climbing with this watch uh, even though that would be pretty cool or awesome as some people would say. And finally the latest version introduced recently is this uh, hybrid version with its platinum case but with the 5N red gold base plate and bridges and black dial. A pretty neat uh, combination. This is uh, the only limited edition of the series and it's actually limited to 22 timepieces as the other ones are not limited but they are limited by the production capabilities of Grebel Forcé. So let's now talk about uh, some mechanics uh, and as you would expect with Grebel Forcé, they are always uh, pushing the boundaries and limits of technicality, not to mention naturally the outstanding finishing, a real trademark of the brand and simply a benchmark in the industry. This watch's movement is made out of 436 components and you will find a Grebel Forcé signature 25 degree inclined tourbillon seen at 5 o'clock. This is the tourbillon 24 seconde regulator, therefore rotating on itself in 24 seconds and it's made out of 87 components and if I mentioned before that some of these watches were quite uh, heavy, well this tourbillon weighs 0.36 grams, so quite a contrast. This movement beats at uh, 21,600 vibrations per hour and the energy is provided by two barrels giving this timepiece a power reserve of 72 hours. In terms of design, this movement is encased in a 43.5 mm asymmetrical case, asymmetry being something quite dear to Grebel Forcé design and you can really feel the different levels in this watch architecture giving a, a great appreciation of volume and that's uh, even without mentioning the globe uh, itself. But I will come back on this later on. So the overall thickness of the watch is slightly above 16 mm, so quite big, but there's so much happening inside this. A full story to look at for hours, well I could definitely do so, or well, actually I have, let's be honest. So the tourbillon sits nicely at 5 o'clock. At 3 o'clock you will find the power reserve indicator. At 2.30 there is a small second counter and the hour and minute dial is just so slightly off center to the right of the 12 o'clock mark. At 10 o'clock you will find, um, well actually you will see the second time zone indicator and to activate this GMT function you have a simple pusher at 10 o'clock which lets you change very easily the second time zone you want to keep track of while you're traveling for instance. But now it gets super exciting with this incredible 3D globe which rotates on itself in an anti-clockwise move in order to mimic the Earth's actual rotation and is comparable to a world time indicator but so much more classy. On the back of the watch you will find a disc with the 24 different time zones and this one and the globe are simultaneously synchronized with the time you display and adjust on the front of the watch. 
So the fun little story about this watch is that for Grebel Forcé, the most uh, difficult part in developing this, uh, this timepiece was actually the globe itself, which is made out of uh, titanium. It took these uh, detailed fanatics more than a year to come up with the globe they were looking for. And well, of course, now it sure looks absolutely stunning. So there's also a little trick with the small uh, side window on the case, as it is used as a day-night indicator, the window providing the light as if it was actually the sun, thus the day side of the earth. Okay, I will stop getting too carried away by this watch. Uh, I unfortunately know that I will most probably never own one, but this was already a nice little personal privilege and I'm very happy for these lucky owners of this great watch. Actually, a friend just told me that he saw a woman wearing this last uh, limited uh, edition and I believe that must have been a rather unusual sight, a pretty cool one. And uh, by respect for these uh, watches that, uh, like I said, I love so much, I'm not wearing anything today. So all the best to you and see you soon.